What's going on guys, it's Chris from Funtech Guys here and today I'm going to be talking to you about PHP. Now this is going to be a very quick tutorial, um, I say it's a tutorial, it's not even a tutorial, it's just a quick talk on what PHP is and what, what I'm going to be doing over the course of however many videos. Now the idea is that I'm going to be creating as many videos as possible but in bite size manageable chunks so we'll try and cover as much of, of the language off as possible but we'll, we'll go from um, Understanding, you know, the the, the core basics function uh, and the core functionality all the way through to um, creating that, you know, full-fledged systems and and um, taking into account, you know, security and 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 whatnot. Um, now, it it almost feels like I, I need to give back to the to the community a little bit, you know, and try and pour my knowledge into some videos because when when I was studying and and learning uh, PHP, you know, for you know for the first time. It almost felt like I needed it in in bite-sized chunks, and 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 what I'm going to do is is exactly what would have been ideal for me in the first place, and then hopefully you know even if one or two people you know end up liking this you know then um, I I feel like I've given them something back. So um, I'm just going to jump straight in. So to, to launch um, PHP files and, and to run PHP files on your local system, you need to download and install a um, a local host. Um, and one of the most popular ones that I can think of is is Examp. Um, I've run this on both Windows and Mac. Um, don't get me wrong, I run other versions of this. You know, uh, of you know, I run um, MAMP and WAMP and, and whatnot on on Windows computers. However, Examp just always seems to be the one that I can come back to, and you know, and, and, and just works. You know, it, it does exactly what I need it for. So if you um, head over to ApacheFriends.org. And you'll just see straight away big massive download buttons. Um, just click on whichever one you need. You know, so whether you're working on OS or, or Windows or Linux, for, for example, um, just go ahead and download that. Um, download it, install it, um, familiarise yourself with it. Um, but it's 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 um, fairly self-explanatory once you've downloaded it. All you need to do, um, I'll just give you a quick quick um, guidance video, is um, once you've run the program you'll be prompted with a well, uh, welcome screen and you just want to click manage my server uh, manage servers and just ensure that um, PHP is running uh, I'm not going to run it just yet because I'll, I'll do everything in the, in the next video however that is literally it um, and then obviously if you wanted to run databases um, then you just run your, your what's it called your database server as well now with um, with Apache, uh, when you're running localhost, you just need to save your files in certain locations. So in this instance, with Exam, you need to save your files in the Applications folder, um, the HT Docs. So on a Mac, if you just click on um, Open Application Folder, and it will prompt you with this folder. Um, so all it's done is it's gone to Applications, selected Exam. And if you just click HT Docs, and then th this is where you you know you end up saving your files. So if you wanted to create just a very basic index.php and just launch it, if you just went to localhost, it would be there. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this in the next video, but I just wanted to give you some some overview on, on just how you how you launch PHP. Okay, so now that we've talked about how you launch PHP. Um, I suppose we've we've done this, you know, backwards. But I'm just going to talk to you quickly about what PHP is. Um, PHP is uh, is a programming language. It's open source. It's free, and it's avail readily available on pretty much most servers. You know, I've not come across a server which um, I've had to have it installed or, or whatnot. Um, it, it's always been available. Now, it's a, it's a scripting language which is server side. So when you load up your you know your web browser and you, you go to a page and um, it's got HTML, it's got CSS and JavaScript and, and PHP on page. Your HTML, CSS and JavaScript is going to be loaded, it's going to be rendered f through the browser. The browser, you know, so Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer, Safari and, and whatnot, they are all going to handle um, the rendering of your HTML, you know, your, your, your client side uh, programming languages. However, PHP is handled from the server, so renders up the page, a request is sent to the server, the server handles your PHP tags and, and everything within it and then um, the response is sent back to the browser and, and that's rendered you know, within the template. Um, PHP is also 
commonly used with um, databases to create like dynamic web pages. Um, and when I say dynamic, uh, what is dynamic? Dynamic is um, Okay, if you had a page and it had content which never changes, the images don't change, it's just always the exact same standard, um, does, nothing changes, that is a static web page, you know, um, nothing is being rendered from the server, you know, the server isn't changing anything on the page. Now, when you log into a page and it says, um, I don't know, uh, let's, let's use exam uh, Facebook as an example, um, you log in, it says, hi Chris, thanks for, you know, you, it gives you a little profile picture, welcome back Chris, or, or whatever it says, I can't remember what it says now, I've logged in the desktop in, in quite some time, um, but it gives you your profile images, it gives you what's trending, you know, it, it gives you all matter of data which is constantly being updated. That is a dynamic website, you know, um, when you go to a page, it is changing all the time, dynamically through a um, through, the, through the server and the databases and whatnot. Um, the most common database that it uses is um, MySQL. You know, um, a lot of what we do in these videos is going to be done through MySQL. Um, when I say a lot of it, what we do, a lot of database projects, what we do, will be handled through MySQL. But um, I won't, I won't blow your minds or whatever, or try to blow your minds just yet. I'll, um, I'll leave that for another video. Um, before we and before I start the next video, um, I'll probably you know mention it in the next one as well. But I'm just I just need to make sure you, make you aware that it's best to have basic HTML knowledge um, when starting PHP. Now HTML is almost like the foundation of um, of PHP. Uh, sorry, of, of web development. You know that is that is like the core of the web you know web development. And you know and PHP is almost. Although you can create just pure PHP pages, you know more often than not, you you are going to end up running into HTML tags and, and and whatever. I would be very very surprised if you, you know, if you, if you go through you know, your, your first however you know first five ten projects and, and don't touch HTML at all. So, with that being said, I would go ahead and if you don't know HTML, I'd just get you know a general understanding and get some basic knowledge of things like forms, you know, because you know forms is handled. It, although it, on the page, you know, like where you type in your name and click submit um, to sign up to whatever newsletter or, or, or whatnot, um, the handling of the form is done, you know, through PHP. So, um, and you know, the front end is HTML. So, as I say, um, I implore you to go and just make sure that you know some HTML. Um, before I move on and, and and close this video off, I just need to to highlight um, php.net now php.net oh net is um, php's um, well php's website now this website is brilliant and it is so so for um, whatever function whatever there's, there's documentation on absolutely everything so if you wanted to create you know your very first page which is what we'll be doing in a second but let's just say you, you know you wanted to search the echo statement documentation on the echo statement straight away I have boom. so that's shorthand echo but it drills down and it just gives you examples this has now just become your bible study it use it live by it, read it, just whatever you need to do, php.net is, is where you need to end up. Um, and that's where I'm going to close this video off. Um, I'm going to start the videos, uh, the next video on just creating our very first page, but um, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya.